Hey guys, I'm Dan Henry and I'm a custom success technical architect here at MuleSoft. In this Friends of Max video series, I'm going to be talking to you about AnyPoint API Community Manager, which provides a next-gen developer experience to help you build and grow API ecosystems. In this free part demonstration, I'll be guiding you through how to customize your API community. Today, in part three, I'm going to provide a demonstration on how to customize your API and forum experiences. So in the previous demonstration, we finished off with the news detail. We're now going to head over and have a look at the API catalog. So I'll go to the page structure and I'll search for the APIs menu. So because we used the template, it's pre-populated the APIs page with the API catalog component. And we can make a few changes to this component as well. So for example, I could choose a category filter. So I've set one up here called supply chain. And just to show you, this has been fed through from any point exchange. So for example, in product information, or even in the headless e-commerce, I have supply chain set up with some different values. So now that will bring up that drop down box. We can also change the card height. I'm going to make it short. And we can also do some filter conditions and categories filter as well. So for example, if I head to product information, you'll see that I have department as a category and some values. So I could go to the experience builder and I could type department equals department A. And now it's only going to show the APIs that have that value for the category. So now that we published, when I go to that page, you can see that I have the drop down menu and I can filter out with those and view my different APIs. So now let's have a look at the API details page. So that's going to be the marketing and the details and console. So we go here and under the community API, we type, we click on the API detail. Now, same as the APIs page, this was pre-populated with some content based on the template. So you can see here, we've got these different components. I'm gonna make a few changes though. So I'm gonna add the access requester here, which means I can delete it from here. And then I'm gonna add the spec downloader. I can make this vertical if I want, but I'm gonna leave it horizontal. And then here we have a tabs component, which has the API documentation and API console within it. So we've got a documentation viewer here and the API console on the other one. Now there was a spec downloader in here, but I'm gonna delete it from here. So in the API console, I can make a lot of changes. I can expand endpoints on the start, which I will do, enable resource filtering, show endpoints toggle button, and even remove overview items from navigation. I'll enable expandable request panel as well. And there's lots of other options here in terms of changing colors of the different um, resource methods, but I'm gonna leave that for now. I think I'm quite happy with how it's set up. So let's publish that and see what it looks like. And there we go exactly as we want it. I can go to API console, for example, and we can see the changes that I've made here. I can do a quick find, for example. So let's have a look at making a marketing page for this API. So I go down here and I click new page in the page structure. I'm gonna choose standard page, and I'm gonna click new blank page. I'm going to use a flexible layout. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to copy this URL because I'll need that in a moment. Click create. And then I'm going to go back to 
the ACM administrator and under product information API I can click edit and I can paste that URL and then click apply. So let's have a look at customizing this. So first of all I'm going to split this into two. I'm going to do a ratio of eight to four. I'm going to add a headline to the right hand side and this is just going to be some case studies about the API. So then I can get a CMS collection or even a CMS single item which might be more suited so I can choose the exact case study I want. So I'll choose that Titan Fitness Tracker and then I'll whiz through the styling of this. Next I'm going to add the API details button as a call to action underneath the case study and I'm going to choose the product information API. I'll center it and I'll append with the name so I just need to add a space and a hyphen and another space. And that looks good. Next I'm going to have a headline on the left hand side and I'll add some detail. Then I can go to the rich content editor and maybe add some information. And that's probably just some marketing information that's more relevant to a business stakeholder. I'm then going to add the feed for some discussions from the forum. Changes to discussion. I could choose a different filter but I'm not going to. But I will put it as latest posts. I can turn off the search and the sort as well. I think I'm just going to turn off the search. So what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to add a self-register component plus a headline for those who haven't signed up to the portal yet. So we'll make sure that when they are viewing this information, they have a way to quickly go through to sign up to the portal. So I'll publish. Now if I head to home, and I'll click learn more. We can see this marketing page which has the discussion at the bottom, we've got some detail here and the case studies and that sign up to request access as well. But actually if you think about it we probably don't want members to be able to see that sign up page and even the discussions probably not visible by guests. So if we head to experience builder I can click on these components and I can assign an audience so at the moment we have no audiences. So I'm going to click new audience and I'm going to type in let's say not members. Actually no, I'll go for guests only. So we need a criteria type. So we go to profile, I'm going to say does not equal and then we're going to choose our community profile. So that being this one here. But that's only a single profile and maybe we have multiple profiles for our community we can say any condition is met or you can even add custom logic is met as well if you have something a bit more advanced. But for now we have one profile so I'll do save and assign. So that's assigned to that one and I can now assign it to the self register component as well. Oh, forgot to press assign. So now we'll publish that. And let's see what that looks like when I'm not logged in. So I'll go to home again, click on learn more in product information API and we can see that's visible for us. We can also see the discussions is visible, let's see what it looks like if we log in. So we can see that register page isn't available but we can see the discussions. So now let's get rid of discussions for guests. Click assign, new audience call it members only. We'll say profile does equal this member. Save and assign. So go back to that community again. So just to check, yeah, we can still see discussions when we're logged in. If I log out, head back to that page. And now we can see, we can definitely still see that sign up, but we can't see the discussions. Let's head back to the site structure. 
So the next on the list would be My Applications and Application Details. So if we head over to those pages, so with application listing to see the different applications. Now when you go on this page, if you're in admin, you won't actually see any applications, but you can make some modifications, but we'll leave that for the time being. And in application detail, you'll also get that warning because again, you don't have any applications, but you can see the modifications we can make to this page. In this tutorial, I'm not gonna make any modifications. I'm just gonna leave it as is. The next one would be forums. So we'll go over to forums. And what we have here, we've just got a headline, the contact support and ask buttons, and the feed. And again, we can make modifications to this. We could change the default filter or the sort order. Now the final one is the member profile. And what you'll notice is the member profile doesn't appear in the pages. So we don't actually make modifications to the member profile page using the standard site structure. We actually click on this profile menu icon here and you can choose the login label from when how you see it. But then authenticated user options, that's the information they would see on their member profile page. So that's all the pages in the site structure. So let's head back to the community and see what we've achieved in the last three demonstrations. So we create an impactful landing page with all the information that our members and our guests might wanna see when they head here. We also created the API catalog where we can view the different APIs available to guests or members. We can head into the API detail, have a look at information here. We created the marketing page for the product information API. And we use the assign audiences to customize these experiences for different types of consumers. To learn how to customize the API groups page, we've created a separate video for this and you can find the link below this video. We also have the My Applications page, which as I mentioned before, as an administrator you won't see, but you can check as a member. You also have the News page, which has all of the different news and updates, as well as the news detail as well. And then we also looked at how to configure our forums page. So there we go. Thanks again for watching this Friends of Max demonstration. Feel free to leave a comment, Check out the links below the video or have a watch of the other Friends of Max videos too. I look forward to seeing you again soon.